How's it going everyone? My name is Fordiva. Welcome back to another video. Uh, the Black Ops Cold War multiplayer trailer dropped like a couple days ago and at the very end of it there is a zombies teaser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the zombies teaser for you and then I'm going to kind of break it down a little bit and just talk about stuff that we hear and see in it and give my opinions on what I think might be coming to Black Ops Cold War. So enjoy. So I have the trailer here in Vegas and I'm just kind of going to go through it a little bit frame by frame just to kind of see what we see. But we're going to play it through again just so I can kind of talk about things that we hear and see in it. So yeah, we'll just play it here now. And that's pretty much it. Like that's all we can have to work with at the minute. So. I'm going to kind of go through it a little bit and the first thing you can hear is like if you listen at the start, right? The very first thing you hear is this. If you hear that piece of music, that's the Juggernaut theme. So that means really we're getting Juggernaut back, which is something the community has been asking for basically since Black Ops 4 came out because they were always asking where's Juggernaut because we basically started with 200 HP, which is kind of what Juggernaut gives you when you drink the perk. So yeah, there's that. And then if you continue on just after the glitch here, you hear this and you see this as well on screen. See, there's a monkey bomb. The monkey bombs were reskinned the whole way through basically Black Ops 4. So we're actually back to square one with the original monkey bombs and you hear it as well. So we can kind of confirm, I suppose, that monkey bombs are in the game. So we'll keep going. And here we get our first look at what the zombies actually look like and they do look quite good obviously we can't really see them here it's dark it's very hard to see them through it but then <laughs> left here we get this view this is our first proper close-up of them and they are extremely cool they do seem really really cool like if we go back a frame here or two uh just the whole lunging motion and everything is just so nice now this could be part of like the main trailer that does drop eventually because there will be a full trailer for it no doubt but we're going to keep going through and we're going to go through frame by frame and kind of see what we see because here in the gl in these glitches right we have this here like project something i can't see it you obviously can't see the whole world because of the guy's hat then you keep going through and this here it kind of sets the scene for what we're going to have in zombies this year. If you look at it, right? This to people who've played Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. This staircase should look quite familiar. This is the staircase in Noct. This is the staircase. If I remember right, it looks like the one when you go through the help door. It's the one that leads up to the top floor because obviously you have the debris there and that. This arrow though looks like the kind of arrow you get when it leads to power. So there could be a power switch up there. We don't know. We're not going to know that for a while yet. Also, the rest of the map is shrouded in darkness, but you have like torch, you have flashlight. This was first implemented in World War II zombies, I believe. And it was kind of, it was just basically give the zombies a more eerie feel. And I think maybe that's what they're going for here. Maybe you'll play it with the torchlight until you turn on the power and obviously we have the starting pistol here and someone's hand i think that's the 1911 i'm not sure we don't know for sure yet we don't know what we're getting but we'll keep going through and you see all the graffiti as well like i'll explain later on what i'm kind of thinking but uh it just i suppose it adds kind of hope to the whole 80s thing because if you see the like the launch images and that they are all kind of graf graffitied and stuff and it does look quite cool but we'll keep going through anyway we have another glitch here. We'll go back to the start of it. So, nothing really discernible here. There's a face like there. Like there's a woman there. That could be a character. We don't know. We're not obviously we're not going to know more until we get more teasers or until we get a trailer, which probably will. I'd say by the end of September we'll have a trailer of some sort, be it a small teaser trailer or a full blown one. We don't know. Maybe two weeks into October, then before the launch, we'll get a full trailer we don't know just yet we'll have to go through all and see 
We'll keep going. There's like an looks like an eye nearly. It's all kind of like reflective in an eye. Uh, that looks like a door. Through there, that could be another room that we can go into. We don't know. Need then there. Uh, it's actually no. It's uh, it's not a door. If I remember right, if you look, yeah, that's the side of uh, a bomb. Basically, it looks like a nuke. It looks like an atom bomb of some sort. Uh, obviously, you can see the monkey bomb bouncing around on the floor there, and you can see like just the warning symbols and that kind of thing all around here. Then we go into another glitch. Looks like a guy there, like with an eye patch. He was in Black Ops One. I can't remember. I think he was in the campaign. I can't remember his name. I've seen a lot of people kind of talking about it. He was in Black Ops 1's campaign, if I remember right. So he could be something to do with this whole new story we seem to be getting. But we'll keep going. Keep more eye stuff. Now this, there's a dead zombie already. And then this big thing here. There's a lot of speculation, and I agree with it, that this is the power room from Transit. This is where the Avogadro spawns in. When you first turn on the power in transit is it makes sense because this is where he would have here's where he'd pop up up here and then see you have a stairwell down here that looks like it branches off both sides we can't really see like if you look here you can see it kind of branches off this way and there's obviously loads of power cables going here stairwell here keep going and then there's a staircase by the looks of it behind the zombie the zombies obviously coming in to basically swipe the shit out of you he has yellow eyes that's kind of cool as well because like different maps zombies have different colored eyes so it could be maybe just something generic it, it could be something important we don't know yet and then there's just another glitch and there's like numbers i think by the looks of it and then that's it it fades to black so that's it there's nothing really there that we haven't you can't really make out from it but I have a theory, and it's actually, I discussed this with Adam, and full credit to Adam for this piece of trivia, by the, well, trivia, because he's the one that actually said it, and not me, I just said what I thought these were. This looks like, oh sorry, if you go back as well there really quick, there's another arrow for power, but it looks or like another arrow that looks like it's leading to power, so like, from what we saw back at the very start with the uh, first room seat there. That they could be arrows in the power because look the cables going up the stairs as well. Power switch could be around the corner here. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone here like another uh, symbol or anything like that. So I don't know but I said to Adam that this looks like the transit power room and obviously that looks like uh, knocked from you know just from that staircase it does look like the knocked staircase. I'll throw up a picture of it like on screen so you can kind of see a comparison of the two and you can see where I'm getting that from. But he said that this looks like a Green Run remake. And if anyone doesn't know what that is, that's the whole of the transit map. That's Bus Depot, Farm, Town, and uh, the, the Diner. That's all classed as Green Run in Black Ops 2. So this could mean that we're getting a full transit remake in Cold War. That's only speculation. We know it's not the Ether story because Treyarch did like an AMA thing and... They said that this is not the story that has uh, Richtofen, Nikolai, Takio, and Dempsey in it. This is like its own new story, but it'll have like a few home comforts. So what they meant by that is obviously there's going to be things in it that we know. Like they're going to have obviously here monkey bombs, and we're going to have jug. We could have pack a punch. We could have the old perk system back. I think they said they're reintroducing the old perk system again because it was much preferred to what we got. Which makes sense because that whole new perk system was like really stupid. They tried to overhaul the whole thing, but it just didn't work. So yeah. But if this is a green run remake, they have a very good chance of fixing all the mistakes that the old transit made. Like old transit had the potential to be a really good map, but it was on the wrong game and on the wrong engine because they had to put in all the fog and shit so that the engine wouldn't crash from trying to load the whole map in one go so the fog obviously condensed all made it like so you didn't render too far away so it didn't crash everything but that in retrospect killed the map so maybe this is a transit remake maybe this is from before 2025 in the black ops timeline where before it was hit by the rockets from moon so this could be 
how it looked a couple days, a couple weeks before transit. We don't know. We might see Ted the bus driver. We There's a whole load of stuff we could see. Or we could be getting like a full remake of Knots, but you can't really remake it. I suppose there's not much more you could add to it, given that in BO3 they added everything in. But who knows? That's just... We'll just have to wait and see, really. Like, this is the first teaser we've gotten, so obviously there is a bit of information in it. There's never a lot. There's always a, enough to keep people interested. Plus, we don't know the names of any potential maps yet, which is good. So, you know, there's always that to look forward to. Like, they might tell us the names of the maps. They might not. They might leave it a surprise. If they leave it a surprise, it's probably better because that means we won't have to... We won't have, like, expectations. Do you know what I mean? Like, when Black Ops 4 came out, they told us the names of the maps months in advance. So we had high, high expectations. And then when the maps came out, we were like severely disappointed, which is unfortunate. But uh, if you enjoyed this video of me kind of breaking down the trailer, something different, I don't normally do it. Uh, leave a like and let me know. Uh, I'm planning on maybe reacting to like the trailers and teasers as they come out for zombies. I won't really be doing the multiplayer because I'm not really interested in it. But uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to see me doing it, if you want to whatever maps you want to see me playing in the lead up to Cold War, because I'm probably going to get it because the zombies is looking quite good at the minute. But I'm waiting for trailers and stuff before I make a final decision on it. So if you want to see me playing other Black Ops titles and maps, let me know. Custom zombies, anything like that on Black Ops 3. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.